high quality PCB assembly for maximum efficiency. In this video, we will discuss the basics of high quality PCB assembly, the benefits of achieving high quality standards, key components of a successful assembly process, tips and tricks for maximum efficiency, design considerations, tools and materials, quality control and inspection, troubleshooting common issues, and quality and regulatory compliance. What is a high quality PCB assembly? High quality PCB assembly is the process of building a printed circuit board with the highest levels of quality, reliability, and performance. This process involves selecting the correct components, designing the layout, assembling the components to the board, soldering all the connections, and then testing the finished product for any potential issues. The goal of high quality PCB assembly is to ensure that the end product is reliable and performs to the desired specifications. The benefits of high quality PCB assembly. The benefits of high quality PCB assembly are numerous. Firstly, by ensuring that all the components are correctly assembled and soldered, it ensures that the board will perform as expected. This is especially important when dealing with sensitive components that are prone to damage or failure. Secondly, high quality assembly also ensures that all the connections are secure and reliable. This prevents any potential issues caused by loose connections or faulty soldering, which can lead to costly repairs or replacements. Finally, High quality PCB assembly also ensures that the board meets all the relevant regulatory standards, which is especially important for medical and aerospace applications. Key components of high quality PCB assembly. The key components of high quality PCB assembly are the components, the design, the assembly process, and the testing. Firstly, the components need to be chosen carefully to ensure that they are compatible with the board and will function as expected. Secondly, the design of the circuit layout needs to be carefully planned in order to ensure that all the components fit on the board and that all the connections are secure. Thirdly, the assembly process needs to be carefully executed in order to ensure that all the components are correctly soldered and that no loose connections are present. Finally, the board needs to be tested to ensure that it performs as expected. Tips and tricks for maximizing efficiency. There are several tips and tricks that can be employed to ensure that the assembly process is as efficient as possible. Firstly, it is important to ensure that all the components are organized in a way that makes the assembly process easier. This can be done by carefully planning the layout of the board, grouping components together, and labeling all the components. Secondly, it is important to ensure that the soldering process is efficient and effective. This can be done by using the correct tools and techniques, such as flux, desolder braid, and soldering iron. Finally, it is important to ensure that the board is tested for any potential issues prior to the final assembly. This can be done by performing functional tests and visual inspections. Design considerations for high quality PCB assembly. Secondly, the components need to be chosen carefully to ensure that they are compatible with the board and will function as expected. Thirdly, it is important to ensure that the board is designed to meet all the relevant regulatory standards, which is especially important for medical and aerospace applications. Finally, it is important to ensure that the board is designed in a way that facilitates the assembly process and makes it as efficient as possible. Tools and materials for quality PCB assembly. When assembling a PCB, it is important to have the right tools and materials in order to ensure that the assembly process is efficient and effective. Firstly, it is important to have the correct tools for soldering, such as a soldering iron, flux, desolder braid, and a hot air rework station. Secondly, it is important to have the correct materials, such as solder paste, solder wire, and thermal interface materials. Finally, it is important to have the right tools for testing, such as a multimeter and an oscilloscope. Quality control and inspection. Once the board has been assembled, it is important to perform quality control and inspection in order to ensure that the board is functioning as expected. This can be done by performing a series of tests, such as functional tests, visual inspections, and measurements. It is also important to ensure that the board meets all the relevant regulatory standards. Troubleshooting common PCB assembly issues. When assembling a PCB, it is important to be aware of common issues that can arise. This includes incorrect component placement, incorrect soldering, and incorrect testing. It is important to be aware of these issues and to take steps to prevent them. If any issues do arise, it is important to troubleshoot them quickly and effectively in order to ensure that the board is functioning as expected. Quality and Regulatory Compliance The final step in the PCB assembly process is ensuring that the board meets all the relevant regulatory standards. This is especially important for medical and aerospace applications, as these products need to meet stringent safety and quality standards. It is important to ensure that the board meets all the relevant standards, as failure to do so can lead to costly repairs and replacements. 
Conclusion High-quality PCB assembly is essential for ensuring the reliability and performance of the end product. The process involves selecting the right components, designing a layout, assembling the components, soldering all the connections, and then testing the finished product. It is also important to ensure that the board is designed to meet all the relevant regulatory standards. By following these tips and tricks, you can ensure that your PCB is assembled with the highest levels of quality and reliability. Visit our website, WinnowPCBA.com.